What's up, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you USC, the Trojans, what's going to happen in 2019, how are they going to fare, all of the controversy surrounding Clay Helton, what will happen. Let's check it out. First game of the season, USC is taking on Fresno State. They are more talented, better overall. Kirk is rocking with the number 14 Trojans. Let's check out the rest of the schedule. Of course, Fresno State, BYU, and then get into Pac-12 play. Washington State, Oregon State, Cal, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Stanford, UCLA, and as always, they end the year with Notre Dame. That's five ranked teams in the second half of the season. Let's check out what happened. Fresno State, BYU, Washington. Wow, they win almost every single game. They go 12-1. and They end the year number four, but they lose to Notre Dame 12-0, and number one in overtime, and they beat Washington, who ranks number nine to end the year. USC, congratulations on surviving the swirl and all the crap that happened in the offseason. They're taking on number five, Oklahoma, 10 and 2 in their bowl game. Let's check out the rest of the top 25 Notre Dame, Ohio State, Texas, and USC in the top four. Oklahoma sitting there at 10 and 2, so a 4 and 5 matchup in the bowl game. That's a very solid top half of the, the top 10. Actually, you keep going down, Florida State, Alabama, Arkansas, Washington, Auburn, that's a very solid top 10. We do see Cam Akers, Haskins, Daniels, Harris, and Jarrett in the Heisman race here. JT Daniels from USC having a splendid year, only a sophomore, sets a record over 4,000 passing yards in the season, 48 touchdowns, passing that QB with 39. Wow, what a year. Williams, 17 receiving touchdowns in a season. USC, congratulations on finding an offense. They're taking on Oklahoma. Oklahoma is actually better overall offense, defense, in rating, but USC is better in almost every statistic category. Oklahoma and USC, two of the top offenses there. You definitely see USC with the top pass offense, and Oklahoma... Not all they've improved on defense. They're number 13 overall. But I do think USC is going to win this game. Oklahoma is where Kirk is rocking. Number 5 versus number 4. USC, good luck. We want to see you win the offseason here. USC loses to Oklahoma, who ends the year number 2. Ohio State wins the national championship 14-0. USC, what the heck happened, man? We'll check out what happened to them. But that's a pretty solid top 10 there. Let's check out just who squeezed in there at the bottom. We see Clemson. We see SMU. Houston. Texas A&M, congrats on making it into the top 25. What happened in this bowl game? Let's check it out. USC and Oklahoma both win the first and second quarters, respectively. USC wins the third quarter, but Oklahoma comes out, gets a field goal, 20 to 17 very close game here the statistics very close on offense 366 to 315 167 to 127 on the ground and then 200 to about 200 through the air we do see a couple turnovers for oklahoma there three turnovers to one that's a big deal they somehow managed to win even though they turned the ball over more they did win the time of possession usc was trying to come back late in the game Sorry, USC. Sorry, Trojans. 12-2 is a very respectable season, though. USC is predicted to have a very good four years, predicted to win the national championship in two years. We'll see if it happens. Statistically this year, JT Daniel leads the country 4,000 passing yards. Dude is a monster. You gotta love it when young guys succeed. Only a sophomore. Carr... Over 1,500 rushing yards. Wow. Two of the top guys in the country in the backfield. Vaughn's top five in receiving. Almost 1,300 yards. This offense was something to behold. 
I wish I could have seen it. Tufale, 39 solo tackles. Good for top 50 in the country. He's number one in sacks. The guy's a monster. Obviously going to be a high draft pick. 14 and a half sacks. What? That's insane on a year. Only one guy on the team doing that. Polo Mao, three interceptions. Nothing really to sneeze at there, but nothing great. We do see for a kicking leader, of course, Brown, good from 50, only top 37 in the country, though. But if you stuck around this long, please comment, like, subscribe. I love feedback. I want to know what team you want me to do next. I'm out. Peace.